probably the most common mechanism of injury that we see in the emergency department is something called a foosh, which is a fall on an outstretched hand. Um, it can be from walking, running, rollerblades, roller skates, skateboards, pretty much anything. A lot of times even furniture for younger kids. It can even happen with older kids with sports like soccer or football. And most commonly they break the distal part of the forearm. Younger kids often develop something called a buckle fracture because there's a lot of cartilage in the bone, but the outside of the bone is still strong, so it kind of holds everything together. You can also have a displaced fracture of the distal radius and ulna, which is the end of the forearm leading up to the wrist. You can have this in younger kids, but I feel like it's a little bit more common in the school age to older kids. For the buckle fractures, because they're not displaced, we're able to just put a splint on in the emergency department and then usually follow up for either a removable Velcro splint or a cast with the orthopedic doctors. For bones that are displaced in kids, we usually don't need to do surgery most of the time. We can get them lined back up with something called a procedural sedation. I use medicine called ketamine, which is very effective. It's not general anesthesia, but it does the job and it's great for pain. Keep going. I got you. You're good. Yeah, one. I made you move a little fast. You're doing a great job. I know people have new toys from the holidays. Make sure that you have appropriate safety gear. Something like this is not a terrible idea for a new like roller skater because this absorbs some of the pressure and takes it away from the wrist. And I'm working the next couple of days, so I'm sure I'll see y'all in the ER.